right, we got our front view cut done. We're ready to move on to our top view cut. So if I look, if I go front view, I've changed the car in the front view. That's half of my assignment. If I go to top view, my car is still a complete rectangle. So this is what a car looks like if it only has a front view cut. So that's worth half the credit here. So we have to move on to this. I'm going to hit save just to make sure it's saved at this point. And it is now, so we're good to go. And this is kind of a tricky one. This is the whole reason we have two separate components. So these are actually just a duplicate of each other, just a mirror. So what I do on one side will automatically happen on the other side. So if I want to make my whole front rounded off here, I would have to draw a quarter of a round or a quarter circle to get a half circle all the way around. Same thing here. If I'm not careful and I draw an arc, and I think I was drawing the arc on the outside, but I draw the arc on the inside, it's going to cut a hole through the center of my car. Now maybe you want a hole through the center of your car and that's perfectly fine, but just think about those couple things. So I'm going to go back over into my camera and I'm going to go down to scenes and I'm going to go down to bottom view. The bottom view should turn blue some. The bottom view also has what's called hidden lines turned on. So I can see this dotted line right here. So if I'm looking at the bottom of my car, this is now the point or that front of my car, and here is the CO2 cartridge. This is half the CO2 cartridge, and that half of the CO2 cartridge here is on this side. So if I orbit this just a little bit, I can kind of see how that flows. So right there is that CO2 cartridge. So if I draw a curve on this side, it'll cut a hole through the center. If I draw a curve on this side, it'll be on the outside edge of my car. So I'll click back into bottom view and explain this piece now. The first thing we have to know is we need a flat surface to be able to draw on. Now this seems kind of counterintuitive because we just cut this out, but we're going to fill this back in for a minute. So I'm going to come here to my shape tool, which right now it's turned on circle from the axle holes, and I'm going to take a rectangle. And I'm going to click on the front point of my car, or the point that I have left available to me. So you might only have a point right here available because you may have rounded the front off. Oh, wait a second. I see purple. Purple's telling me I forgot to do something. I need to double click on my car. Now, I'm going to draw that rectangle from the front of my car. And I'm going to go back to right underneath this axle hole. And that filled that bottom all back in. If you need to fill in the front, you can fill in the front as well. If you need help with that, let me know. That's kind of a little bit different way to fill in that front. Okay, then we're going to go on bottom view. Again, I'm going to do an arc. If I do an arc from here to here, I am on this side, and it's going to cut a hole through the center of my car. Also, if I see it turn dotted, that means it did not work. So I'm going to draw my arc from here to here. I want to make sure it says on face and it's not dotted like here. If I'm there, it's dotted. If I'm over here on the face, it's not dotted. If I can't figure that out and if I can't get it to be where I want it to like that's too deep I want it about right here but I don't want it to be dotted when I get it on face I can hold down the shift key on my keyboard and then it keeps it on this face and then I can choose where I want it to go so I got that set up I'm going to go to isometric but I want to be isometric on the bottom of the car 
So I'm down here. And I'm also going to go to half car for modeling at this point. Because all that other stuff is going to be funky. Ugly. Now, we're going to do a push-pull. And push-pull is going to say, oh, yep, I can push-pull down, but I can't push-pull up. The reason is it's got this line here and this surface that SketchUp doesn't know what you want to do with it. So you have to tap the control key on the keyboard. Right here it says control equals create toggle new starting face. And I need to push pull it up above everything of my car. Now if I look half car for modeling, it looks really bad right now. That's nothing what I wanted it to look like. But if I go full car, now I can see the back side is happening too. So at this point, half car for modeling, if I look right here closely, I can just see those two surfaces are going through each other. They're not actually cutting. So I need to go to the select tool, and I need to click on this surface. And I like to keep clicking until everything is highlighted. But it will work by just clicking on this surface. And then I'm going to go right click, intersect faces, with model. And boom, I just saw this line show up here. That tells me I intersected those faces with the model. So now I have my car intersected there. And this is pretty advanced stuff, so it's going to be tricky. You're going to use a lot of undos and a lot of fixes here. But now I'm going to go to front view. I know this is exactly what I wanted to have. I don't want this up here and I don't want this down here. So I'm going to use the eraser. And I'm going to erase this corner. And that car is going to start showing up. I'm going to go to the eraser down here and erase here and keep erasing until that car shows up. Now it looks right in the front view. But if I go to the top view, I know this is the part of the car I want. This is the line that's showing me the edge of the car. I need to use the eraser and keep erasing here. Now the trick with this is if you accidentally erase a wrong piece, it doesn't look too bad here. But if I go here, I notice that like half my car went away. So I just hit undo to fix that. Now I always say do a lot of clicks here, erase one line at a time. It's easier than erasing a whole bunch of lines and accidentally touching another one, and then it messes up with your car. So I go front view, that looks right. Top view, looks right. Isometric view, looks pretty good. Let's go see what the full car looks like. Did it on the back half. I now have a front view done and a top view of my car done. Again, kind of a difficult concept. Be proud of what you've accomplished when you can get this concept figured out.